And welcome back to another awesome guitar arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn Eleanor Rigby. I'm going to play you the arrangement first so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy! Okay, so put on this F chord. Okay, it's an F chord. It's five and five on strings one and three with three on the fourth. Okay, so it's five, five, and three on strings one, three, and four. Now, if you want to play a full F chord, you can do the full D shape, or you can play a C shape bar on five. But there's no reason to. Especially that um, we're only playing it once, and then we move up here to seven and seven on strings one and three. And then we play eight and nine. And then we play ten and ten. And we play the D string. This is now D minor. Okay, because, okay, again, you can play 10, 10, and 10 on strings 1, 2, and 3. But again, there's no reason to play the full chord because we're trying to create an atmosphere here. And using the sixth harmonies, okay, we get uh, more sparse, sinister type harmony. So, okay. And then we go back to eight and nine, and then seven and seven, and then five and five. And then we play five and five on strings two and four. And we slide them down to three. Okay. Now, I play the A bass along with 5 and 5, okay? But you can play it after the slide, okay? To create a sort of a syncopation feel there. And then, 1 and 2 on strings 2 and 4, okay? This is now A minor. So that's the uh, first line. You're still on A minor, and you hammer on three on the second string, so you have this. Okay? You hammer on the three immediately after you play one and two. Okay, so... You have the hammer on to three, and then you have the open E string. And then you have this. One zero on the second string. Two zero on the third. Three two on the fourth. And after each one, you play the E string again. So it's... Got it? 
right? So. Okay? And you let everything ring. Okay? You don't mute the strings. Okay? It's not supposed to be sparse. It's not supposed to be. Okay? You, you need to hear everything ringing. Okay? It creates the whole sound, the whole atmosphere. And then you can play it again okay, from F, or you can move on to the verse. So the verse is um, five hammer on to seven on the third string with the A bass. Now, you play the A bass continuously. Okay? You play it continuously, just a continuous A pedal note. So five hammer on to seven on the third string, and then five on the second, five on the third, seven on the fourth. Okay, which is A minor, so. Then you have five hammer on to seven on the third again. And then it's five eight on the second. And then it's seven five seven. So it's. And then it's five three five. And then it's three one three. But when you play that last note, you play it with D minor over F, which is three two three on strings two, three, and four. Three, two, three on strings two, three, and four. Looks like D7, okay, but up a fret, down a string. Okay, so, um, if it makes it easier for you to remember. So, um, it's, okay, three, one, and then D minor over F. Now, of course, you can pull off notes, you can hammer them on, you can do whatever you want with this arrangement. Okay, you don't have to play it exactly like me. Okay, sometimes I hammer on. Okay, or okay, I do this instead of. Okay, depending on how I feel like at the moment. Okay, music is flexible, music changes. Okay, it's your expression okay so don't be afraid to you know to express yourself you can you can play okay you can slide okay you can slide okay and then um to create a farther effect so um after you play d minor over f you play this you play a minor and you play strings two three and five and you hammer on three on the second string again, like you did before. And then you have this. Okay, it's a little bit of harmony. Um, zero and one on strings one and two. And then one and three. And then back to zero and one. Okay, so it's. And here I do mute the whole guitar. Okay, to create drama. Okay, so this time I don't let it ring. And then again. Okay, now um, I forgot to mention when you go to D minor over F, you can keep playing that A note because you have A inside a D chord, so you can play D minor over A. Or you can play that F note on the D string, okay? Whichever one works, you can keep playing that A note. So... See? A. It works. D minor over A. It's a wonderful chord. Um, and then... Then you have... Um, after you play everything again, you have that D minor over F again. Um, and it's 3-1-3 three, three on the second string. And then it's 0-1-2 on the um, first, second, and third strings. 
Um, so actually, this is not D minor over F. Sorry, my, uh, my mistake. It's F. It's, it's F. It's F major 7. So... Okay, it's F major 7. So... And then... That third string on 2 again. Okay? And then you have that F chord from the beginning again. And then 3 and 4 on strings 1 and 3. Yeah, you can bar the third fret if you want. And then you have five and five on strings two and four again. Okay, just like before. And this time I play four slide to three on those two strings. Okay, for a little bit of bluesiness. And then I play one and two on strings two and four. And then I play the A bass. So I get this. And obviously, you can keep playing the A note. So, and then again, and then you can play the verse again, you can play the chorus again, you can play the B part again. The intro is the B part, um, and just have fun with it. So download the tab, the link is below in the description. As usual, the tabs are for free here on Lick and Ref, and uh, you're, you're welcome to check out my courses, my courses or my full course program, uh, encapsulating all 25 courses that I currently have. Uh, I mean, I'm working on new ones for the new year. Um, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I will work on getting this cold um, out of the way. So <clears throat> I don't sound all nasal all the time. But the good thing about having a cold is that you can really, really go bassy when you have a cold. So um, have fun with this and I'll see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.